but some of you, you have reached your last day. You have trampled on the blood. You have trampled over the cross. You have trampled over my word. Now, we just heard a clip from Timothy Dixon. Timothy Dixon is, without a doubt, one of the greatest false prophets on social media. It's confirmed, it's verified. Many times over, this man has falsely prophesied. Another way to say it is that he has been caught red-handed many times, outright lying in the name of Jesus Christ. This video is no different. We're just continuing to expose him because he's shipwrecking faith worldwide. Now, he wants you to believe in this video that God is currently speaking through him. Is that true? We're going to apply 1 John 4, 1. We're going to test the spirits to see indeed if that's true because many false prophets have gone out into the world. We're going to be biblical. Now, he used a word that you may have caught that simply does not exist in the English language. He said that God used this word, not just once, but three times. Now, because we're all adults here, do you think that while God is prophesying in the English language, that he's in the habit of just making up new words? Do you think? That God would do that? Well, the answer is no. That's confusion. So he used the word trumpled and said that, well, God said that. See, these are the little things that you should notice when a southern preacher gets in front of the camera and starts babbling vain janglings from the imagination of his own heart, because that's what this is. This is not of God. And you can know that if you can discern or if you're not of that 2 Timothy 4.3 generation that just wants to get their itching ears tickled. Now, there is a plausible ex explanation for this. That being that this man has, this man meaning, meaning Timothy Dixon, has Donald Trump so thick on his mind that he changed the word trampled to trumpled. But does that help his cause? Because take a look at this. Now, if you come over to Google in real time and type in trumpled, the only definition you'll get for this word is from the Urban Dictionary. And they do have a definition. It says, to be verbally trampled by Trump supporters. This is, again, the irony of all ironies. If you apply this to what Timothy Dixon was saying in his alleged prophecy, it absolutely wrecks him. And it's somewhat kind of true. But what he meant for prophecy actually collapses right back on him if you're just basing it off this one definition from the Urban Dictionary. It's priceless. So in conclusion, Timothy Dixon is a false prophet. Avoid him, mark him, seek Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity as found in his written word. 